Hi, I'm Mark Sacco and I'm here with a Mitsutoya Quick Vision Apex Pro and I'm going to show you how to use Status Monitor. What is Status Monitor? It's an external program that shows what the machine's current run status is. So let's get started. The first step is to start Status Monitor. So to do that under QV Client, you'll find QV Status Monitor right here. Click that, give it a few seconds, and then you'll see at the top of QV Pack a new menu option will open called QV Status Monitor. As so long as you see this menu item up here, Status Monitor is running, but there are a few options that you may want to change. So when I click on it, I can go to Option, and typically what you want to do is change the default machine name to something that's easy to identify in Status Monitor. I have it set to the same name as the machine that I'm running on, which is QV Apex 404 Pro. And the other option that you may want to change is Auto Load, where if that's enabled, every time QV Pack is started, Status Monitor will automatically start as well. Ideally, to get the most use out of Status Monitor, you have it running on a separate computer. So that's what I have here. And I'm going to begin Status Monitor by double-clicking on it. And once it loads, the next step is to have it locate any machines on the network. This is the easiest way to add machines to Status Monitor. So I can click Scan. What Scan does is Status Monitor will begin searching the entire local network for any Quick Vision machines running Status Monitor. And this search is happening here. And there you see it's found our QV Apex 404 Pro, and it's going to continue searching to see if it can find any other status monitor enabled machines. Okay, now it tells us that it's finished. So we click OK. We could highlight the machine that we want to monitor. Click Add. I'll just accept the defaults here. And then we could go up to the Overview tab. And in here, it's going to show us what the status of the machine is. Right now, the machine is turned on, but I'm not running a program, which is why the state says idle. Now that I have Status Monitor running on the remote machine, what I could do next is start the program running here on the machine, and then we'll see the status change on Status Monitor. So I want to run this program repeatedly, so I could come up here, click on multi-run, and then simply do demo run, which means that it will run continuously. Click OK. Now my program starts. And now we see that Status Monitor updates saying that the machine is busy. In other words, it's running a program. That's how to enable Status Monitor both on the machine and on a remote client. Keep in mind that the client could be in the next room or on the other side of the world. To see more how-to videos, and if you have any other questions, please go to mitstoya.com.